This is uh, ECU E78. Uh, currently it is bricked. I erased everything in the flash and it cannot boot. So uh, using Unicam T along with the MCP2515, I'm going to recover this with the boot assistant mode or someone called boot mode. In order to enter the boot mode, you need to solder a resistor 200 ohm, uh, ohm or in my case is 150 ohm resistor between those two pins as well as you need to show this two pin. And then we can go to the software here, uh, select the boot assistant mode. Here is there is a E78 BAM and you click OK. Now power on the unit and turn it on. Wait about 10 seconds. And that's Uh, we cannot get detect because the password is not right so we first need to go to the shadow and click the shadow we have read and then we go here and check the box say from the shadow so this is the password and let's click again now we enter the debug on and once we enter the debug on we should be able to reprogram the entire flash this is the previous uh, backup so now let's go on and we can write. Uh, in the boot assistant mode compared to E39, uh, the clock speed is about half of it. In the E39 or E39A BAM mode, uh, it was running at 400 kilohertz, uh, uh, 400 kilohertz clock speed, but in the case of uh, E78, it runs at 200 kilohertz. Uh, you cannot modify this clock or make it fast or slower. It just um, 200. You cannot change it. So it will take about. Um, double the time to program the entire flash, but you just need to wait. And here you can see the LED is blinking and that means it's, it's doing it. So don't need to be too concerned about it. So sometimes you can see the progress bar is stuck here. Uh, just watch the, uh, the LED, if it's blinking, that's doing its job. The entire progress for this one takes about four minutes compared to the uh, E39, it's about two minutes. We have finished programming, it takes four minutes and seven seconds. Normally, uh, for me, I'm pretty confident this is good enough, but you know, just for demonstration purpose, we can do a verification pass just to compare, see if we have programmed properly. So the, the key to BAM mode is sort of the uh, wires here and as a res resistor here compared to the E39, this is a much simpler setup. Also, you need to set the password properly by uh, reloading the shadow and then check this box. Otherwise, the default password will not work. Uh, in the BAM mode, password is always required. This is the nature of the, the chip itself. Uh, without password or with the wrong password, it will not allow you to enter the BAM mode or in my case, it's the debug on mode to be able to program or, uh, or do any modification. Now this is fully recovered. We have a way to recover a dead ECU by entering the boot assistant mode.